Welcome back to the game face guys. Yo. Still playing Gacha Force. We're still hyped up on E3, so we're going to talk more about that. If you watched the last one, we talked about um, uh, Nintendo a lot and like a couple other things, but... Mostly Nintendo. So now we're probably going to talk about like Sony and some other stuff, I assume. Because Sony had an awesome conference. So I want to talk yeah, about they that. Were, they were the probably the best. They definitely knocked it out of the park. Mm. I mean, they opened with I didn't the last see Guardian. Though. They opened with The Last Guardian, let's see. They did. <laughs> and that was awesome. That was like, you know, everybody was like, when the hell is The Last Guardian ever going to come along? And there it was, right at the front, looking good. It looked really cool. They showed a they gameplay. They had a good start and a pretty good end, although they ended I feel like they should have right? maybe ended it with the Final Fantasy remake just to make that yeah, last Yeah, Final Fantasy VII. That would have been a sweet thing. piece of kind of but thing. But nothing wrong with the Uncharted looks Uncharted great. looks amazing. <laughs> But like, yeah, like everybody was, it was shock and awe for Final Fantasy, and that's what you want to leave people with. Yeah, I was sitting there, I was like, I was like, is this, I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> Neither did I until Cloud like, showed Like, I up. imagine the people like, that knew Final Fantasy probably knew it. Yeah, that's the thing is, I've like never really played any Final Fantasy games. I did a little. That got me excited, even though I haven't played them. I know, I was like, I actually have a, because I never really was interested too much in the Final Fantasy games. But yeah, that, like, I always kind of As soon as I saw that soon, gun, I was like... I was like, are they doing like a sequel or is it? What is this? And then it's remake. I'm like, yeah. Whoa, that's like, holy like, shit! I don't even play Final have, Fantasy. I got clamor- excited. People have been clamoring for that. So it's like two thousand what five? Just going, just keep it- when the PlayStation Three came out, maybe. Yeah. So that's pretty cool, and like they did a lot right in that conference. There was, I always say when it comes to conferences for me, you want a new IP. I find I love seeing a new IP. I love seeing mm. a surprise. So that's yeah. gonna go hand in hand. So they had the new IP, which was, um, uh, what the hell is it called? Horizon. And it looked really cool. That did look cool. It was like, you got the cool badass female, kind of like a post-apocalyptic fighting mon- alien, I mean, not alien. They were robots. Robot animals. She was hunting stuff, and then you're like, holy shit, and it robots, looked, robots. It looked robots. really cool. Like, really nice looking graphics, mm. interesting characters. It just, everything about it clicked. I was like, yeah, I would play this. Mm. So that was a really cool new IP. And Last Guardian was a huge surprise. Final Fantasy was a huge surprise. And everything else was, like, just, you know, good. It was good stuff. It was another thing. uh, People have been uh, wanting Shenmue 3 for, like, more longer than Final Fantasy 7. Yeah, people have got to be stoked for that shit. They're probably getting that, because I imagine the Kickstarter will have no problem with getting funded. Guaranteed, guaranteed. Kind of a weird way to do it with the Kickstarter, but I mean... Sony, do you... (laughs) Sony has enough money. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. What else was good? No love for Sony. Vita. <laughs> yeah, that's the. I guess Am I that, the only person that loves Vita here? I guess if you wanted to say so. they had a weak point, it would be the Vita. They PS4 it Vita's up. Vita's always been weak. It's the opposite of Nintendo's. They had some cool 3DS stuff, but mm. there's no Wii U love. Yeah, but true, true. What else was good in theirs? They had uh, like Hitman was revealed. To Hitman be cool. looked pretty cool. It was just a, a CG kind of thing. Showed off a little Assassin's Creed. Well, yeah, it's a little, it's a little. Assassin's Creed looks cool, but I. They yeah. bring them out so often that I It's hard I have to get excited even. about games that come out once a year. I finished... Wait, I never finished Same the first like, one. I finished all of the second ones. Never finished the third one. Never finished yeah. the fourth one. Assassin's Creed, to me, has become like Call of Duty and Battlefield. It's like, all right, we're going to see one of these every year. And it's going to be kind of the same. Mm, yeah. Call of Duty came out, Black Ops 3. It's like, didn't I just buy a Call of Duty? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ugh barely played it see i'm not a big call of duty guy but every once in a while i like to pick one up for online and i don't play it that much so it disappoints me when a new one comes out because like oh seriously? so now nobody's gonna want to play the old one with me i don't know I, I can get behind people liking it but mm-hmm. um that's my thoughts on call of duty <laughs> you know what i thought was kind of cool wow firewatch did you see yeah were you paying was attention when was, that it, was it indie or like i don't know it didn't but, tell us a lot. It was like it was just first like a, person, just kind of neat art style. Some guy was like the fire guy, right? Looking for fires. And what? then somebody was in the tower. He's like, whoa. I don't know. I guess I didn't. You, you, you were paying it. attention. You paid. You say it. It was just um, some guy out in the wilderness, and then he had a, a walkie talkie. He was talking to some girl. Yeah, he was like the fire ranger. And like it had just the way they were conversing with each other and stuff, it kind of had a little. I found it had a little humor to it. Uh huh. And the art style was not realistic or anything. No, it had a neat nice. art style. I liked it. And, yeah, I'm, I'm really interested to see what, what goes on with that. Me too. Also, Batman. <laughs> yeah, Batman. I mean, Although we know it's just, coming soon. Those but are other missions, but Scarecrow. It, cool. it looked creepy. It did. It looked good, though. Scarecrow's always uh, not Ooh. one to fuck with. Look, I'm getting a robot. What robot? <laughs> uh, 
The claw guy, I think I already have one of these. <laughs> He's like, wow! I should put that insect in my party. And then Street Fighter V, whatever. I'm not a big on Street Fighter V, no, but I'm sh it's definitely cool for I'm people who like it. I'm very particular about my fighters, and even then I'm not... I don't engage myself in them enough to get good at them. Because, yeah. Because, I don't know, I like adventure games better than fighting. Yep. No Man's Sky. Oh yeah, No Man's Sky is very always ambitious. Cool. I'm kind of worried about it being too ambitious, but it looks amazing. So I mean, is it gonna be? It's not gonna be procedural. Like it's not gonna. It's not like Minecraft where it just builds itself. But I have no. I don't. I, I don't couldn't know explain that game to you if I tried. It's insane because it. They were showing the scale of it. It's, this is ridiculous. I don't know if I ever used this thing. What is it? Oh, the bug. Insect Borg or something. Did you not have him? Fly. Yeah, I don't remember ever using this. What anyway, else? dreams was something. Oh my god, I don't know what was happening in that. I didn't. Is I the, was like, what is this? Like, it's just it's little big planet makers, and they I were can like, see how it'd be cool, look, you but... can craft dreams. You can draw with the controller, and then you can move stuff. Like, like, I don't it, know how well you could draw with the controller. It all looked very innovative and neat, but I did not know what was happening. <laughs> That's what I think about that. Um, eh. Yeah, we'll, not for we'll me. see what it looks like when it's, it's done. Not for me. Anyway. And World of Final Fantasy looks adorable. That does look adorable. Um, I don't know what to expect from it, but it was cute. Yeah, it wasn't much um, information on that, so... Yeah, I was just like, look, like it's Final Fancy. It has, like, a chibi art style. It's pretty Sometimes cute. it looks like Kingdom Hearts. Sometimes it yeah, looks like... Yeah, it popped like... out, and I was like, is this Kingdom Hearts? Or <laughs> what is this? Yeah, it's pretty cute. I don't think I like this bug borg. Because you suck. Oh. Uh, Careful. Big bad beetle... You're a little... Big you're bad. more of a little bad beetle borg. What else did Sony guess, do? Well, there's Square. That's about it. We covered all our bases really? on Sony. Well, I guess Square sucked, but um, Kingdom Hearts was there. Kingdom Hearts 3. And Goofy yelled, come on, and I screamed really <laughs> he loudly. He sure did. He's like, come on, and I was like, he said it! <laughs> he doesn't even play Final or <laughs> Kingdom Hearts games. I just watch you, and I just always remember Goofy go, come on, come on, and I love it. I so when he said it, I was really excited. <laughs> So one thing that was weird though, they were they brought up the guy who does the Kingdom Hearts stuff, uh -huh. and they're like, he's like, oh, you want to see Kingdom Hearts? And then they put up oh, a yeah. mobile game. Yeah. I hate mobile games. It wasn't games. even that. He came out and it was like Kingdom Hearts, yay! And then I think they showed the Final Fantasy demo. I was like, okay, we saw that. And then it was like, all right, Kingdom Hearts, yay! And then they cut to two guys talking about Disney and Kingdom Hearts, and then it was like Kingdom Hearts, yay! And it's like, okay, here's a mobile game. And then one more time, it was like, Kingdom Hearts, yay! And then he, like, talked to some guy in the audience for a second, and then they finally showed it. It was just like, but oh Kingdom my Hearts God. 3, I liked it. It, it looked, looked cool. It looked good. I like Kingdom Hearts. I like the story some is of it. stupid, but... I think there's way too many mobile games. If it was just Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and 3, I think it would get much yeah. less criticism. Because it is, Kingdom Hearts stories, I find it pretty confusing, and it's also very cheesy. Oh, Friendship very cheesy. Friendship and, and, and light and dark and, you know... I just uh, but I mean it's just uh, too I many spin-offs. That's it. my big thing about yeah, it. Yeah, it's pretty much. I'd be much more willing to get into it if somebody told me, it "Oh, was, just play one, two, and three. It was smart of them though to when they brought out the P PS3 versions. Right. They frozen. Some of the games they just turned into cutscenes, which oh, then you don't yeah. have to suffer through those. That's games. pretty smart, I guess. And what else? Square had Deus Ex, but the stream froze, so we didn't see it. <laughs> Deus Ex. I, I, you liked it, and I enjoyed watching you play it. But that's you about all I know about quieter. it. No. Your, your voice is so basic. I get excited when I talk well, about video games. Well, it's late. Whatever. Uh, anyway, let's okay. talk about video games. Uh, Just Cause 3. Ow. Just Cause 3 looks awesome. Looks cool. Lots of grappling. Lots, of, lots of hooks. This Axe Knight is giving me... <laughs> that, that guy that came up for that Nier game, I thought that was funny. Oh, the... And the crazy, like, moon face looking thing. That's yeah, from, from I didn't even know what that near game was. It, I know of it. I was like, this looks cool, and they showed absolutely nothing about it, and then they showed the title, and I was like, I don't get it. <laughs> but it said near, and then like whatever was at the end near. of near, it was like. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that looks cool, but I don't know anything about it, so whatever. And what else did know. Square show off? They showed off Star Ocean, which looked pretty cool. Star Ocean looked cool. I never played a Star Ocean game, but it looks cool. I played 20 minutes, maybe, of a Star Ocean game. And then they showed off another thing, and that I thought was really weird. It's what they ended their conference with. It was like, so we got this new company, and it's gonna work on a new RPGs, and they're gonna do a bunch of them. And they showed off some screenshots of like, not even wilderness. screenshots. Ooh, I want to use him. They were just concept art. It looked yeah. Like. And then they said it was coming out next year. It's like, 
So, can we see some gameplay? <laughs> There's a JRPG, it's gotta be big. Yeah, they I gotta, mean, I wanna see oh. that shit. Dozex I'm excited about. DSX is great, but I didn't or get to see it. Or is it Deus Ex? Is I don't that know. how you Deus Ex, X. That sounds right. But it looks cool. I s liked the first one more than I thought I would. Mm-hmm. And so I'm excited for the new one. That's all, all right. I can think of for Square. Mm. I'll tell you about Microsoft, because you missed Microsoft. All Microsoft right, we have time. Microsoft opened with Halo. So, you know, it's Halo. It looked like Halo. Um, Halo I don't Halo. really... I like Halo, but I don't get super excited about it. Mm. So I didn't have a lot to say about Halo. I'm sure some people were very excited about it. Mm. And then they had... Uh, I don't know. Don't tell us in order, because you're going to get it wrong. That's very true. But there was that one game that I thought looked really neat. ReCore? ReCore, yes. But looked, no gameplay. Yeah, but it got me excited, I must say, because it was like, oh, it's like the makers of Metroid Prime and like the Mega Man guy. And I was like, Keiji oh, cool. Keiji Inafune? Keiji, yeah, exactly. And they showed off, you know, some cinematic trailer <gasps> showing some cool girl and the robot companion. It looked cool, but like you said, no gameplay, so it's hard to get super excited. I really like this character that you're using. Looks vampire rad. Knight's awesome. Is that what he is? He does a vampire? Like a spin. Woo! He's pretty cool. I like him. He's a really cool character. I like Dual Blades. And there was Gears of War 4, which I wasn't super into. I don't really like Gears of War. Uh, I think it's really gritty and dark, and I thought that... And they're all muscle, muscle heads. The trailer was so dark, I couldn't see anything. It's just uh, like, this is very dark. It looks, I think it looks pretty. It's dark and brooding, come on. Yeah, I don't know. It, it looks, I can see that there's stuff there to like. But yeah. it's not for me. It's I mean, for the... I'm pretty sure I yeah. played the first two games in completion, and it was just like, okay, that was all right. So I guess it's not for me. Um... What else got revealed? Rare. Rare's yeah! doing oh stuff. Oh my god. When they first started talking about Rare, all I saw, like, Banjo came on screen, and I started flipping my shit, because I thought they were doing Banjo. And then they were like, oh, it's like, you know, Rare games existed, and we're going to release this thing where you, there's, like, 30 of our Rare, Rare games. Which is cool. Like, that's awesome. I'm actually considering getting an Xbox One just for that if, freaking pack. If they pack. all run in HD, like, 60 frames per second, like, I'd do that for Conquer alone. Too bad we already did Conquer. <laughs> Oh, I don't. I just. I want to have it. I want to. Conquer's one of those games I want to come back to every couple of years. So, not like specifically on the channel. Uh, but I don't. Know, I love Conquer's Conquer. infuriating, but I know it's good. And like even just to have that for the multiplayer, and thirty the sixty frames per second with nice resolution, mm. awesome. And of course, all the other games, uh, Battle Toads, and you know, and uh, also Rare had another game, Pirates of the Pirates. I don't remember what it's called. Sea of Thieves. Is that yeah, called? actually, I think that is it, and it looked cool. Um, it started up with a guy on an island, and then he went and he pirated. And it looked really nice, nice art style. Pirates are cool. Not a whole lot to go off of. I don't exactly know what to say about the gameplay, but I'm intrigued. And I definitely want to see where that's going. Um, I like that they're going to be doing backwards compatibility. Yes, that's also backwards a reason compatibility for me to get was it. a big deal, for sure. Even though I have an Xbox 360, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, that was a good move on their part, because that's something that Sony doesn't have. And they need stuff to set them apart, you know? Yeah, because there really isn't any games that I would... Like, most of the games you can get on the Xbox One that I want, yep. you can get on the PlayStation. Yep, they don't have a whole lot. There's like lot. one or two games that I'm interested in that I can't get, but... M most of their IPs aren't games I like, because they have a lot of shooters, and I'm not a big shooter guy. Um, Let's see. They had Cuphead. Cuphead looks awesome. I haven't seen anything about Cuphead, <laughs> but, it's, but I hear it's good not, things. It's not specific to... Oh, well, there yeah. you go. I can get it anywhere. Yeah, Cuphead looked cool. Get it on Steam. For anyone who doesn't know what Cuphead is, it's like a, you know, 2D game that looks like an old, like, 40s, 30s, whatever. Is it a Mickey platformer Mouse or is it a brawler? Side scroller. Side brawler? scroll attacking things. Brawler. I mean, yeah. I, I, I don't know if I'd say brawler as much platformer? as, like, shooting thing kind of thing. Not platformer. So, like, so kind of like, like Contra or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> looks good. Um... How's Tomb Raider looking? Tomb Raider looks good, but I don't care for those games. I got infuriated at the last and one for some reason. It's funny because the new Tomb Raider is one of those games where I can appreciate that it looks good, it plays good, and it's a good game altogether. Mm. But it's just so high action stress all the time that I don't like it. I don't think that was that funny, Max. You're very bad at jokes. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> but, like, do you know what I mean? Because you played the Tomb Raider reboot. A good portion of it, yes. And I was watching you, and I was just like, this never lets up. He was like, poor Laura. <laughs> yeah, like, why doesn't she go home and play video games? Like, I would not do this. Because the game's often compared to Uncharted, right? 
And in Uncharted, yeah. you have these crazy over-the-top scenes where it's like, oh my god, Nathan Drake almost died 15 times. But then after that, after you, it's all, all is said and done, you get a little break. You go and you have a cut scene, you talk to the le- lady you like, Solly makes some funny jokes, and, and you I know, I guess it it's... all depends on the area you're in, because maybe <sighs> she was just in a more chaotic area. Yeah. I don't know. But that bothered me that there was never any cooldown. That was my thing, and I, well, I got too stressed out to stop playing it. There was. Maybe I just didn't find it, because you can find tombs in that game and explore them. The new one. No, not the, the one, one you played. Yeah, there were areas no, you could explore. No, there were explore. no tombs. No tombs. Are you no, kidding me? No I was... tombs. <laughs> okay, whatever, maybe. There were. I don't know if they were called tombs, but there were like these areas you could find. The secret... I'm pretty sure there were tombs. Whatever. Anyway, um... I don't know. I'd sooner rather just play the new Uncharted, which I realized we didn't really talk about. Looks amazing. Uncharted. Yeah, we can talk about it. It looks good. I didn't. It's Uncharted. S- I don't really have a lot to say about it except for that I know that they did a really good job because it was one of the only games that were displayed at E3. That when it was done, I was like, "Aw, I want more. I want to <laughs> keep watching. I want to keep playing." And like, you know, obviously you're doing a good job if you wrote me in like that. Yeah. But, yeah. The Last Guardian and actually had gameplay game too. too. We yeah. To... Look good. And, oh my god. That. That big hyena so bird is just a cutie. Also, I must comment on the fact that this vampire knight is awesome. I already kick- said that. No, but it's awesome, but I'm, like, doing really oh, well with it. Oh, you're, like, destroying? I'm, like, yeah, I'm doing a lot better. I really like I the color it. of his armor. He's it's awesome. like an emerald. He's super awesome. A pretty, pretty color. So I'm, I'm sure I'm missing some stuff for Xbox. Some kind of elite oh, controller, obvious. I see. <laughs> yeah, there was a pro elite controller. They had, like, a video for it. It's like, look at this controller. You can swap buttons and stuff. It's elite pro you're awesome. Um, that was it, and it was like whatever. But I wanted to talk about the the hollow thing, the hollow. Oh, because yeah. that was really cool, like to look at. It was cool to look at. A guy put on a thing, and he put Minecraft on the wall, and then he was like, "Let's put it on the table." And then Minecraft came out of the table, and he's like, "Look at it!" And you could like see him hopping around. He like made lightning happen and stuff. It could work for certain, like. I would play the shit out of that if that was a Yu-Gi-Oh card game. You put down your cards and the monsters came out. Yeah, imagine how cool that would be. Like that you would can, so cool. That's the thing about it. It's like, I can think of a lot of ways this is cool. But not for Minecraft, I don't think. And like, Just, when are we ever... Like, Are we even going to see that in our lifetime, in our living room? I don't know. It'd be a lot of money, probably. With, you have to buy a specialized table for it or something. With innovative stuff like that, I'm wary, especially with Xbox after the Kinect... Yeah, that's Connect what I was thinking was too. Kind of cool, but holy shit, did they ever not know how to utilize it? They did not make anything cool with Connect. I'm sorry. Uh, Maybe a couple things. There but were a few. You gotta admit that they completely dropped it. I don't. Know. I don't. I prefer to have a controller in my hand. Although, as I said, if they utilize that with, yeah. I think card-based games and made the things come out of the cards, that'd mm-hmm. be really cool. Like even a Magic yeah. card game or something. Yeah, I can. Pokemon. S- I think it has some really cool. Like it could be really neat. But I wouldn't want to be an early adopter because I'm afraid they just do what they did with the Connect and completely say, oh, we can't fucking do anything with this. We aren't, like, you know, innovative enough. Hmm. That's what I kind of, like, I trust Nintendo to use their hardware because they're, I don't know, they're pretty good at they're that pretty, kind of stuff. They're um, pretty loyal to their stuff, I guess. And they're just, they're good at thinking good about wording. ideas. Like, I don't know, Sony kind of did that too with the move. What, like... I remember the thing that came with the move. I they can't remember what it was that called. Quickly. That was fun, whatever it was called, the thing where you play like ping pong and stuff. Yeah. But I think they made one other game that I can think of that was cool with the move. And um, now you don't hear about There are certain the games. Anymore. I know Sly Cooper you can use it with. Okay. And Heavy Rain, but. Yeah. Mm. So peripherals, I'm always wary now because, I mean, they could just drop it if nothing cool comes out of it. Yeah. HoloLens looks amazing. That's my point. Mm. For certain we'll games, I think it'd adopter. be cool. Yeah. I think for card-based games. Because I want to see a blue-eyes white dragon come out yeah. of my table. <laughs> and I am actually excited about the idea of virtual reality, so like Project Morpheus for the so, Sony is really exciting to me, but that's hard to show off in a fucking see, direct, because you can't, you can't show people that. We're getting closer and closer to Sword Art Online. Yeah. And I'm all for that. That's cool. <laughs> that's super cool. I want to go into a world... But, so, uh, anything else? Because we're going to have to cut this episode off probably after I beat this battle. We've got two other things on here, and that's about it. I think we've been Ubisoft talking mostly about... Ubisoft and Bethesda. Yeah. We, and they're short. Yeah, we talked some Ubisoft. Um, South Park. South Park! Stick of South Truth! Park. The, no. What was it called? The Cracked Butthole or something? It was the... <laughs> oh. Oh. Cracked Butt no, Not no, no. Hole? No, no, no. What was it? South Park. It's just the title. It doesn't matter that much. Um... 
Looks really cool. They Trey and Matt said they never make another South Park game. Something but whole, but it's spelled like W H. Yes, it's like a smart kind something of something along the lines of cracked, but I don't know. Whatever. It looks really cool. Uh, it has like the the coon and friends kind of thing going, and they're saying that it's gonna be like a lot deeper because they're like, oh, the, the RPG elements in the first game were really kind of shallow. They kind of like you know making fun of themselves. Yeah. They, they Ooh, Battle Girl, she's fun to use. Um, Ooh. Like yeah, that's about it. I mean, it looks stuff. great. It was a big surprise, and I like that. <laughs> Did they have any gameplay on that, or was that just a... Nah, it's kind of a tease kind of well, thing. I'm okay with that. Because the first one was just... It was practically an episode, or like a yeah, movie, it's even, because it's so longer. Far, and that's really neat. Yeah, I really enjoyed I got... Oh, this battle I got a ways through. Bitch. And I had a fun. I had you a got, fun. I had a fun. I had one whole fun. It was one fun to pay a hat. Oh, that bothers me. I need to know what that game was called. Just something but whole. We'll figure it out in the next episode. No. Yes. Uh, just finish this battle. Lindsay, come on. No. Come on. I'm the the audience can tell in. you, too. You stink. Okay, I'll try to think of something South else. South Park. What else did it be The fractured be butthole. Yeah, fractured butthole. Okay, we the got it. The fractured butthole. Oh, I should probably put the timer back on there. Well, this is the end of the episode, because it's the end of the episode. All right, well. So, guys. We, we, oh, let's see what we got first, though. We've only got, like, one little th other thing to talk about E3, and then we're going to have to yeah. talk about Gotcha Force. So oh, God. Ugh. Thanks what? for watching, guys. We're going to talk about E3 a little more in the next one and stuff. Okay, bye. Bye.